why you don't bring balloons to the woods, people. Well, I thought it was a surprise for my birthday next week. Here, I'll put it in our cooler. I was up at camp looking down at the lake. We'll see how good this shows up on camera, but there are fish absolutely boiling. I'm seeing five, six, eight fish surface at a time. I'm gonna paddle right out here. See if we can get into a couple, huh? So we got two right there in front of me. Three, four, five. God, I wonder if there's a hatch going right now. I'm not seeing anything coming off the water, but I bet if I fish shallow, with this little bug, I'm gonna get into him. Insane. And that's not too bad either. I do love this spot. There we go. Feels like a so-so. Eh, what do we got? What do we got? Decent little rainbow. off and my fly is into the net nah, that's okay this is absolutely unbelievable and I don't even have time to tie on what I think they're eating Oh my gosh, have you ever seen anything like this? Look at it. Man, I gotta retie, but. All right. Oh, I just got one on the retrieve. <laughs> What is going on? I've never seen anything like this before. There are trout everywhere. Oh, he's off. All right. Perfect. seconds and you've got a fishy. Yeah, so with like the hook I've got on this one is actually a barbless hook, not just a pinched barb. Oh, you bought a barbless hook? I, I do have barbless hooks that I've tied with and uh, even the ones that I'm pinching, the barbs though, I would say 85% of the time, by the time I get them in the net, they'll spit the hook in the net by themselves. Yeah. So they're super easy to release. 
It sounds like there's a waterfall or something. Yeah, right there's there. a creek or something back there. Huh? Definitely running water. Yeah. And the hook that you have on is a jig hook. So your hook is riding up in the water. Mm -hmm. So when you hook them, you're going to hook them right in the nose, which makes them easy to release as well. And not every time will you hook them right in the nose, but a lot of the times. What do we got? What do we got? Woo! Oh, another pretty little rainbow. See there, flies already out. Pretty pretty. Look at no fins. Oh, that's really weird. <laughs> Just a baby. Huh? Oh, and he's off. Hi. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind a quick release. <laughs> oh. Hard to beat that view. We're out here trolling today and just an olive woolly bugger, no bead, is absolutely slaying right now. How are you doing? I'm okay. I haven't caught any fish yet though. <laughs> absolutely hammered that one. Maybe a little bigger, yeah, maybe not. They're just feisty. Mm -hmm. They're strong little fish for sure. It's all right, if anybody asks, we can say. I just got my line back out to depth. I'm gonna leave the camera on, see if I can get a take. Oh, just like that. Oh. Come on. Oh, no go. Damn it. Just as soon as I get to depth. There he is. Got him back. <laughs> as soon as I got... Oh, he's off. As soon as I get to the orange. Yep. They're hitting it every time. That music's unnecessary. Dude, I was just going to say, like, what? I thought you said last night we were going to... Nope, they showed up today. <laughs> <laughs> so I've showed you guys this before. I've got metered line here, and every time that line gets to the orange fish have been just nailing it of course now that I say that they won't but oh I am so sorry <laughs> as you can probably hear we have some really considerate neighbors who have decided to drive to this gorgeous spot and blast music in the middle of nowhere that's awesome on a fishing note I don't usually hold my rod when I troll, but I'm getting too many bites.
Mine's off. First double double. Oh, double trouble. <laughs> oh, he's pretty. You see that red stripe? Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop it. Picture. Ow, don't don't pull. Okay. I don't have my camera on me. Look at this one right for me. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Off. Is he off? Yep. We didn't get time to look at your, your fins, buddy. He was pretty too. He was super he was. spotty. I saw him, yeah. There he is. Going deep. Little front fins. Mm -hmm. mm. That side's okay. Yeah, that side does look better. Mm. Sorry. Tired of it, aren't you? How come I'm catching them and you're not? Come on. That guy looks healthy. Mm -hmm. His wife wanted to make some jewelry. We headed in, took a break. I'm gonna uh, head back out. Trolling was a uh, absolutely like to the point of silly success. Um, I had lost track of fish. Honestly, I caught I don't know. 15 in two hours something like that just trolling a just trolling a uh, dark olive woolly bugger classic woolly bugger pattern no weight no nothing and they just absolutely hammered it for two hours straight so that was cool anyway I'm gonna head out to the water we'll talk about what I'm doing now day same lake what a beautiful spot uh, I'm gonna head out here there's a substantial drop off you can see this is kind of shallow in here water is super clear so you can actually see the bottom as deep as 20 feet i've been marking bottom at 20 feet and been able to see it but right out here there's a cool drop off it gets substantially deeper pretty quick and i feel like that might be a good spot to give it a shot haven't seen much as far as fish surfacing since about noon, 12.30. It's really kind of the worst part of the day to fish, but who cares? What am I going to do? 
can't beat this view. I'm trying something completely new to me. It's called the washing line method. I've got my regular old weight forward floating line on. I've got a fab. Which comes up to a dropper with a soft tackle, which comes up to a dropper with a nymph. <sighs> so the theory is a floating line floats, the weight of the nymph, the weight of the soft tackle sink the line. The fab is buoyant, so you create an arc. So you're fishing multiple depths on the same cast. Finally think I got my anchor set. Got a first decent cast out, got a bite right away. There's a fish. And he took the blob. Nice. First fish on the washing line. Try not to make it an absolute mess. And he's off. Blobs are safe, folks. This guy came back for it three times. <laughs> hit it. I didn't hook him. Roll casted back out. Hit it. Didn't hook him. Roll casted back out. And here he is. but One of those times I'm just turning the camera on because I'm feeling like I'm going to catch a fish. And look at that. <laughs> I called it. Another little fella. That's basically all we've been catching around here. 
That's all right though, because it's been... And he's off. There we go. Black and red balanced leech. You guys are probably tired of seeing that one, huh? I gotta say, it's much, much busier up here this weekend than I expected it to be. But I can't fault people for wanting to get outside, especially after how insane the last 14, 16 months have been. Get outside, enjoy the beautiful areas that we have here in our uh, little corner of the world. Fish are starting to surface again, even though it's windy. I gotta say the fishing so far has been insane. Trolling I caught, I don't know, 15. Let them all go, using barbless hooks. Uh, fly fishing, I've probably caught 10 today. It's been nuts. As I'm sure you can hear and see, the wind is really picking up now. That's our camp right over there. Maybe it's about time to take a break. One more cast. Oh, and then one more cast paid off and this feels like a much better fish. Oh yeah. Not huge, but definitely a little fatter. bad at all. Not a whole lot bigger than the ones we've been hitting, but it sure did take it hard. Oh uh, yeah, it's a little better. Off he goes. There we go. Man, all these fishes have been twins. Oh, a cute little rainbow. I was hoping to get into some browns on this trip, but it looks like that's just not in the cards. What a super subtle take. Dude, <clears throat> there are so many fish jumping around us. That's not even funny. I know. I want to. I want to park it up and put a fly pole in your hand.
like 30. It's probably 30. 